Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students Lesson 265. Creation's gentleness is all I see. I have indeed misunderstood the world because I laid my sins on it and saw them looking back at me. How fierce they seemed and how deceived was I to think that what I feared was in the world instead of in my mind alone. Wow. I'm going to pause here and say that is so powerful. I've experienced this directly. Oh my goodness. We all have. Whether we're consciously aware of it or not, we have experienced this. Because if you're in that nightmare, there is no separation between your perception and your reality. You're experiencing it as real, even if it's not. And you don't realize how sovereign you are and how you could change it in an instant. And so you feel trapped, even though you have never stopped being sovereign. Today, I see the world in the celestial gentleness with which creation shines. There is no fear in it. Let no appearance of my sins obscure the light of heaven shining on the world. What is reflected there is in God's mind. The images I see reflect my thoughts, yet is my mind at one with God's. And so I can perceive creation's gentleness because we're letting go of the thought system of the world. We're no longer aligning our thoughts with ego of, oh no, I'm little, I'm scared, I'm vulnerable, what should I do? We're aligning our thoughts with God's, with the truth. In quiet would I look upon the world which but reflects your thoughts and mine as well. Let me remember that they are the same and I will see creation's gentleness. See, ego says, well, I'll believe it when I see it. But what it isn't going to tell you is that you'll see it once you believe it. Creation's gentleness is all I see. If you are willing to only see creation's gentleness and not condemn what you see, that inner knowing, that inner state is always going to be reflected out there in your outer state. Now, you might still be aware that there's other people suffering, but it will fall out of your life. And I used to really resist this because I felt like somehow I was leaving people in jail behind. And I thought, I have to stay in prison with them or I have to stay in that mud puddle with them. Because if I climb out, wash myself off and live my best life, then somehow I've betrayed them. And it was a bit of an inner battle that Spirit finally convinced me of the truth, which was that the very best thing I could do for someone who was in prison, who truly did have the key to leave, but was not choosing to use it. The very best thing I could do for someone who was rolling around in the mud was for me to stand up, wash off and walk on because that would be a way shower for them to know that they could do the same. And that is love. That is not betrayal. That is not leaving anyone behind. That is lighting a path. Light that path today. Creation's gentleness is all I see. Thank you for joining me. I will see you tomorrow for lesson 266.